It's massive, really inspirational working for Gordon, you know, and working for especially Neil is CHF, and Claire is getting involved quite a lot. Every day you learn something new, uh, different techniques or different management style. Um, it's all about growing, growing, and become a better chef. I got involved at the National Chef of the Year three years ago. Um, it's one of the prestigious competitions um, in, in the whole UK. And it's really hard to get into the, even to the semi-final, the entry level, because the standard is so high. So I entered three years ago, got to the semi-final stage, got through it, just about, uh, made it to the final, but it, it wasn't enough, you know, what I was doing. So got on the second time again into the final, um, made a couple of mistakes and it cost me the, the top prize. Then this year really, it helped me being here at the Petrus because it's so many talented people and shaped me up going into the final, uh, make sure I come at least on the top three. Neil and me together, we looked at the dishes. What we can create is seasonal, also have a story to, to me where I come from. The fundamental way that we like to work at Petrus and the way we've got Larry to work through his dishes at, uh, for National Chef of the Year is really to take three key ingredients. Uh, I pushed him to leave his uh, descriptions for the competition very loose and vague, which meant that we could work with those three ingredients and uh, it, it grow them into three refined dishes. So, yeah, Larry initially would put up uh, his first sketch of his idea in his head and put that on a plate and we'll look at it together and decide what's good and what's, what's not good enough and uh, work through it and work on each element and refine the dish organically by each of those three components. I wasn't sure I'd be able to manage it in two hours because some of the dishes we put on the menu here to get the feedback from the guests and it is very technical. Um, but I managed to get, get it out um, hour and 45 minutes and it's paid off um, the top price. So, delighted. Uh, I think it's really important for all the contestants in uh, Chef of the Year to have someone there backing them up because uh, first and foremost it's really important that they've got someone there to give them the time they need to work on it because uh, you know, to take it seriously there is quite a lot of hours that needs to go into it behind the scenes. It's not just the two hours on competition day that gets you to the top spot. Uh, also as well like having someone there to help like I said uh, grow the dishes and get them up to a polished standard where you can deliver them in two hours to a standard that's first grade. Entering National of the Year is I think anyone in the country should apply. It's not just about winning the competition, it's about you meeting so many different people, um, the networking and also seeing so many different chefs with different cooking styles and you learn something every day from each other. And the most important thing is you meeting these judges who is, you know, top of the game. I mean, the final had 31 Michelin stars between the judges. For me, what, where the I see it is, whether I won or not, for me, it's make me a better cook getting the criticised from those guys. Mm -hmm.